I want to talk about uh, the bell of the ball this past week in wrestling. I'm talking about uh, MDK all day. All right. Nick Gage. Yes. He's and been, all night. He has been the subject of a couple of trending topics in this week. And it's not bad for, you know, this deathmatch wrestler that half the wrestling audience seems to despise for his very existence. But we'll get into that. <laughs> the first thing that happens is this past weekend, he defended the GCW world title against Matt Cardona, the former Zack Ryder. And Jay, I don't know if you've been following the story with these two, but it felt very much like Cardona was playing the Andy Kaufman, I am from Hollywood thing, where right. because he's worked for WWE, he's part of the establishment, he calls the fans the GCW universe, and of course, like it's the antithesis of everything. It is that, everything they don't want. The GCW fans and Gage fans can't stand. What happens is on Saturday, night one of Homecoming, he beats Gage, albeit dirty. There's some it's an interference well, from, yeah. from 4 4 h is. But they uh, end up, yeah, Cardona wins the title, and right away, fans Everybody start crazy. dumping stuff on him. They're throwing things into the ring. It was like when when, when Hogan turned and went right. to the NWO. But- A lot of people make that comparison, and that alone, that moment there, I mean, the storyline is a separate issue. I for, I, for one, love it. I love the storyline they're on with that, with Cardona being that establishment guy, right. the not deathmatch guy, beating the, the deathmatch guy at his own game. That's brilliant. What uh, week would you ever think that, like, it, it, like a year ago, if someone told you that Zack Ryder and Chris Jericho were both going to beat Nick Gage in the same week? I, I know, mean, right? That's that's universe mode gone awry for ugh. sure. Uh, but yeah, no, the whole the whole thing that came that blew up from that though was when the fans started throwing all the garbage into the ring. And apparently a pizza cutter was one of the things that was thrown in there, which is not safe. We've seen uh, those before. It's had a lot of different uh, reactions and a very polarizing reaction because some say it's like, oh, that's heat, brother. Uh, that's amazing. And, you know, a lot of wrestlers live their whole lives hoping to get a reaction right, like that. Right, never do. But on the same, on, on, on the other side of that, though, there's people who make a very good point that, hey, throwing things into the ring isn't very safe yeah. because not only could you risk hurting the wrestler, you also risk hurting fans because you could underthrow it or overthrow it. And if you've got like a battery, God forbid, or right. like a full can or a bottle, uh, then you mess somebody up. Well, there, you know, one of the biggest, uh, I guess, uh, people that was outspoken about that was Dave Meltzer. Right. You know, right. over that the was last a, week. Yeah, he, he, his and whole thing set up a whole GCW making a shirt with that. It did. Yes, it actually did. So, yeah, they had a shirt for the next night even. I thought it was great, apparently. Um, but th- but that being said, I mean, there is, uh, I, I forget the, the wrestler's name in Mexico. He wears the eye patch or whatever. But the reason for that is because a fan had thrown something into the ring and it hit him in the sure. eye. Yeah. So, I mean, I get what they're saying. You know, it's ridiculous. But this but at the same time, it's like, you know, as long as the match is over, you know, I mean, Gage was out and he was on the ground. He could have got hurt or whatever, I guess. But but still, I it's, don't know. I think it's it's it, you can both of these statements can be true that throwing things into the ring is not safe and it should not be done all the time. But what's also true is that, you know, you're a wrestler and you're a heel. You're trying to get heat. And, you know, if you rile the fans up enough, I think the story with this match with Cardona and Gage was such that it did rile up the fans. And, like, that's yeah. the kind of heat yeah. you want. It's it's such a hard, you know, thing to tiptoe around. How in this day and age can you get genuine heel heat in an era where there's, like, also, you know, quote-unquote cancel culture and you're not allowed to say certain things that you could that you, you could well, say and get away with in, like, the 80s and 90s. Right. You can't do that now. So it's like that's one, you know, big aspect of getting heat that's kind of gone away or it's it's harder to navigate uh so you got to come up with these different ways of getting that heat but like then it becomes this, oh is it too much heat like how do you right. find that balance because everyone knows oh it's a work brother you know everyone some people are in on the act you can tell like everyone's people on twitter are kind of like banding about and kind of like going back and forth with cardona who's like it's got this whole deflection thing it's like i love the fans i love gcw i'm gonna make it better and like it's just it's right. again i love the gimmick i think it's so smart and it's a great way to get heat but like there are those fans who live and die on this deathmatch stuff and on Nick Gage. And it's just like you run the risk of riling up the wrong people, I hate to say. But, like, that's yeah. that's the inherent risk, it seems. Yeah, I don't know. I think the trade-off is worth it for them to have, like, a name like Cardona at their show, especially be champion. It gives them some clout, you yeah, know, for yeah. the Fed. I, mean, I, I look forward to seeing where the storyline goes. Because, like, I mean, Cardona said in an interview, he's kind of a one-and-done with the deathmatch thing. He doesn't want to keep doing it. So it's like, how is he going to get that over? Or who's going to challenge him? Or who will this set up? 
because like it gives Cardona a lot of you know a uh, big platform or gives him a lot of exposure. The fact this has been such a big deal, it's been trending and everything, and well, GCW gets the rub because Cardona's got the star power. Yeah, I think it's 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 fair and it's it's totally valid. The the people who complain about the things being thrown in the ring, yeah. that isn't safe. And like God forbid somebody got hurt that night. Empty bottles and cans and cups, that's fine. You can do that all day. Uh, you know, you can like throw paper. Lots they should of paper take a page out of my book, man, Tomatoes. and get the, the the tortillas. Yes, tortillas. That's the soft shell tortillas. Just yeah. hand them out to the audience. Let you're not gonna throw. you're not gonna gig on a soft shell tortilla, man. So I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those things where I think it's totally acceptable. Bring food because food is like soft. Like, yeah, it's like, you know, it might smell a bit <laughs> right, if, right. If, if you don't clean it all. But, you know, what, what happened to throwing tomatoes at people, huh? That, yeah. the, old, the old cartoons. I wouldn't want to clean that canvas after that. I'll tell you that much. As the promoter, I'd be pissed off. That is actually a good point. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine rotten tomatoes on your canvas? Yeah, oh, right. Dunzo. Want to hear more? Subscribe to This Week in Regret on YouTube for full episodes of the podcast, dropping every Thursday night. Don't forget, we're also on SoundCloud.